Why, hello. If you're one of the few people who can't read disclaimers and or video descriptions, then you need to go somewhere, get a dictionary, and then, maybe then, you can join the rest of us on the internet. So, for those of you who are still with me, you may or may not be aware that one of my favorite YouTubers was a drop-dead gorgeous man by the name of XLNormanLX. Although he deleted his channel for personal reasons, insert sad face here, his face of sharp humor can be found at Temporary Alliance Podcast, which I'll link either over here or down there. Note to self, never, ever say the words down there while on camera. Anyway, what I'm trying to make is, one of No Man's defining attributes was a little sketch in the form of a letter that he would write to random celebrities, musicians, and the like, detailing why they suck in their current field. Luckily, he still partakes this he still partakes in this over at the TAP. Or at the TAP. I'm not really sure. Another point I'm trying to make is that due to a certain egomaniacal rapper's recent tantrum, I feel compelled to take a leave out of my beloved Nowhere Man's book and write a letter of my own. Dearest Kanye West, there are no two words in any language that can adequately express the mood of this letter better than these. Fuck you! enough for you to rub your slime trail all over the Grammys in 2009 when Taylor Swift got an award that apparently you believed her holiness Beyonce should have received. It also wasn't enough for you to rub more of your putrid snail trail all over this year's Grammys when you made the oh-so-original comment that Beck, who beat you up, has more longevity and talent in one white blood cell than either you or her unholiness could ever hope to achieve, should have bowed down, kissed the proverbial pinky ring, and relinquished his award to her. But the fact that you made the decision to not only slut shame your ex, Amber Rose, and insinuate that she's a jealous, skanky, skankitudinous slut, unworthy of her magical penis, that probably isn't a penis, but a micro penis, and lift your wife, Kim Lardassian, she of the lackluster cock-sucking skills, yeah. She of the lackluster cock-sucking skills and the plastic full of space, up the heavens, just let out the fuddles me and angers me to no end. Wait, did I just say that the fuddles me angered me? <laughs> Perhaps I should have mentioned the comment you made regarding your sister-in-law's relationship with a 25-year-old allegedly abusive man-child. You know, the one where you congratulated said allegedly abusive man-child for getting in early because, as we all know, being the first to fuck a teenage girl and then ruin her for other men is the most important thing, am I right? <laughs> and to think that I thought that Patrice Wilson asshole was scum. He still is, and guess what, Kanye? You're rapidly approaching his level of scumminess. I could go on and on about other things about you that piss me off. You and your wife's treatment of your two-year-old daughter as if she were a commodity rather than a living, breathing human being, taking said daughter to a fucking fashion show rather than finding someone to look after her, or, my personal favorite, having this titanium plated cojones to even think you are worthy enough to design a clothing line simply because you think you're hot shit. But unfortunately, my dearest Kanye, I have my own health and sanity to worry about. And unlike you, I do not have the excuses of the voices in my head telling me to do X and Y to rely on. May every person that panders to your pathetic excuse of an ego be an eternal reminder of your shitty, shitty self-esteem and pierce whatever's left of your heart like a knife. And sincerely yours, let the shell who hopes to not see you in hell. The rest of you are welcome to come, by the way. Just Kanye. Sup, Kanye. Fuck him. <laughs>